Hi, I'm Judy Otten with GrowthCast. Last week I introduced the concept of bottom-up growth or bottom-line growth. Today I'm going to give you one of many ideas I have on how you can do that in your own business. The first place we're going to look is at the mix of products or services that you sell. Imagine you have two different products or services, it doesn't matter which. You have two different things you sell, both for $100. One costs you $90 to produce and one costs you $50 to produce. Now, which one do you want to sell? You want to sell the one that costs $50 to produce all day long. Well, we don't always look at things like that when we're business owners. I had a business owner that was selling 12 different things. She was running around like a maniac and she wasn't really making all that much money. We narrowed it down to five of the most profitable things that she was selling. And the, year, the next year, she more than doubled her profits. Her work-life balance was so much easier to manage. She was so much focused, much more focused and doing a much better job for her clients just by narrowing down what she sold, pruning some of the stuff that wasn't really profitable. Um, she also really had some strong passions around some things, so kept those in her product mix. So one of the first place I wanted places I want you to look for bottom line growth is your profit mix. What are your most profitable products? What are your least profitable products or services? You may have to sell some of the less profitable stuff, but where you can, and when you're focusing your marketing efforts, focus on the stuff that's gonna deliver money to your bottom line. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me on social or at my website, growth-cast.com. I'm Judy Otten with GrowthCast, and I'll be back next week with another tip on bottom-up growth.